The Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center Aquaculture Department is concerned with the upliftment of the socio-economic condition of fisher folk and at the same time with the preservation of the environment. Oyster and mussel culture was identified among the viable technologies as appropriate for fisher folk because it is a low-cost producer of animal protein. It can be produced cheaply and intensively. It does not require a high level of technical skills and expensive outputs, and the culture can be done simultaneous with the fisherman's regular fishing activities. Various species of oysters are abundant in the Philippines. Among these, four species can be cultured. The talabang chinelas or slipper oyster, which is the most viable, the kukung caballo or subtrigonal oblong oyster, pulid pulid, and kulot. Mussels are found in bays and inlets along the coast of Panay. Two species are used as food in the Philippines, the green mussel and the brown mussel. The green mussel is a suitable species for culture. Oyster mussel culture has been verified by the CFDEC Aquaculture Department's Technology Verification and Extension Project in four towns of Panay Island, West Central Philippines, in collaboration with local government units and the Department of Agriculture in Capiz and Aklan. CFDEC recommends the hanging raft over other methods because it is more environment friendly. It is easy to culture, and it has high biomass potential and higher financial returns. To construct a raft, use bamboo and other low-cost and recycled materials like plastic drums or containers for floats. To maximize the utilization of materials, the size of the raft should depend on the size of the available bamboo. For a 10 by 8 meter raft, Arrange nine pieces of 10 meter bamboo into three aligned rows. Fasten three rows of eight meter bamboo over each row of 10 meter bamboo using six inch nails to keep them in position, making four five by four meter frames. Tie each corner and between corners using polyethylene rope to strengthen the structure. Lay another row of bamboo placed one meter apart in both sides. It is recommended to double the bamboo at the outer row to strengthen the structure. To fabricate the floats, use plastic drums or cement-coated styrofoam blocks. Plastic drums and cement-coated styrofoam blocks are needed for a 10 by 8 meter raft. Seal the plastic drums or containers properly by placing recycled plastic wrappers before closing the cap or by using epoxy. One float is composed of four plastic drums tied tightly together using polyethylene rope. To make a float of cement-coated styrofoam, wrap a rectangular-shaped styrofoam with chicken wire or nets. Coat it with cement. Use empty and good quality oyster shells to make couch collectors. Oyster larvae are attracted to the inside polished part of the shells. For mussel, use coconut fiber or cabo negro or black natural fiber. For oyster cult collectors, make holes using nails enough for the polypropylene ropes or packing strips to get through. Tie shells to the rope at 5 to 6 cm intervals. About 10 to 15 shells will make a 1 and a half meter collector. Now you have your raft, floats, and cult collectors ready. Attach the floats to the raft by tying at each corner and between corners of the raft. Two floats are needed to support the center. The raft is towed to the site only at high tide. Once the raft is in place, attach the collectors to the raft at a 10 cm interval during spat collection and a 5 to 6 cm interval during grow-out. Weights are tied at the end to keep them vertical. More than 600 collectors can be accommodated by the 10 by 8 meter raft. Site selection is important because it can spell the success or failure of the venture. Choose areas with sufficient spatfall or naturally occurring populations of oysters and mussels. 
protection from strong winds and waves, enough food for the stocks, a tidal range enough to change water completely and frequently, strong tidal currents of about 2 centimeters per second, no water pollution and domestic sewage, a water depth of at least 2 meters during low tide for mussel culture and market accessibility. The farming of oysters and mussels has two phases, spat collection and grow out. For spat collection, hand spat collectors to the wrap 10 centimeters apart during spat fall season. Once the collector ropes become heavy with spat settlement, hang the collector ropes in their final positions on the bamboo frames. For mussels, let the spats grow to a length of approximately one half inch before transferring them to grow out ropes. Hang grow out ropes at intervals of 40 to 50 centimeters. Inspect the raft and monitor the stocks regularly. Remove predators and fallers like crabs, starfish, barnacles, sponges, and others. Regular cleaning would ensure clean barnacle free stocks. Check the collector ropes. Make sure they do not touch the sea bottom. Measure the weights and lengths of oysters and mussels every week. Harvest is done after four to six months or as soon as the stocks reach desired sizes. To harvest, untie the collectors from the raft and hold to a banca. Separate oysters individually with hard objects. Muscles can be separated individually using a sharp knife. Take care not to cut the bisel thread of the muscle to keep it alive. Initially wash oysters and muscles by stamping or spading to break off hard clinging barnacles. Place in rattan baskets, then shake vigorously in seawater to remove the mud. Harvested stocks are then brought to dry land for sorting, packing, and marketing. Verification studies of oyster and mussel farming in the Philippines have shown that profitability depends on farm size and location. Oyster and mussel farming forms a part of the overall fishery activities of fishermen and of a coastal resource management system. Besides helping to raise the fisherfolk's income, it also reduces over-exploitation of our coastal resources. There are sufficient sites in the country which are suitable for oyster and mussel farming. If these areas are utilized and maximized, the Philippines may just be added to the list of exporters of oyster and mussel.